Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here and welcome to another voiceover. So I know it's a very late at night, but I had a little inspo tonight to make some very natural gel. And that pretty little lady on the screen right there, her name is Natural85. She is definitely the goat when it comes to natural hair growth hacks and such. And she is pretty much the um, muse for this video. Like I'll be following her tips to the tea in order to make this very natural gel. Stay tuned. So of course we're gonna start off with the star of the video herself, a bag of flax seed gel. Wait, what? No, sorry, a bag of flax seeds because we will be making flax seed gel. So in Natural 85's video, she does mention that it's better to use the whole flax seeds versus the ground up flax seeds like I'm using there. Um, but to be honest, it kind of created the same products, if you will, at the end, but um, it definitely would have been a lot easier to use the whole flax seeds, and I'll tell you why later. So currently I have the stove at maximum, and I'm just going to stir the pot periodically for about 10 minutes just to allow it to bubble up at maximum. And what we're looking for is just this mucousy, foamy surface, I guess, um, atop the water, which kind of allows us to know that it's about to turn into some gel. So it turns out after just three minutes on max, the flaxseed thingy boiled right up and produced that mucousy foam that we were looking for. So that was great because I really was getting a little impatient. Um, but yeah, from here we're just pretty much ready to go. Yay! So here I'm just turning it down to min so that it doesn't boil over the pot because that would just create a big mess that I was not trying to clean that room in the morning. <clears throat> also, please don't mind the fireworks in the back. Um, it is Diwali, so just keep that in mind. Sorry. <laughs> so finally we're getting somewhere and we have our gel consistency. So from here, we can definitely allow the pot to cool down. So as I mentioned before, I did put the pot on minimum so that um, it wouldn't boil over, but also just to cool it down. And eventually I will just turn the stove off completely just so it can fully cool down. And you'll see why soon enough. So this is pretty much what we're looking for once the flaxseed gel has cooled down. We're looking for something that looks like this. So in order to achieve that, we're just going to let the pot sit for about 30 minutes, which is what I'm trying to show there, but I ended up letting it sit for 40 instead. Alrighty, so this is what we have after 40 minutes. The pot is completely cool and it is completely jelly. So we are ready to pretty much squeeze this out of a stocking because that's all I had on hand. You can also use a cheesecloth to squeeze it out as, as well. Um, I feel like a cheesecloth would be a lot easier than what I used, but let me just show you the trial and error real quick because I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. <laughs> So for this, I practiced 
extra extra caution because I just didn't want to mess up again so I only used a little bit of the flaxseed gel in that stocking there sorry excuse that firework but yeah I can't lie to you guys natural 85 really made this process look super super easy because I won't even hold you guys like squeezing out all this gel out of this stocking foot took forever like I swear I was squeezing it out for a good 30 minutes to maybe a whole hour it took forever but honestly it came out there were no seeds in the gel so I was very pleased with it so I'll just fast forward this part just to spare you guys the amount of time it really took but just be prepared because it's a lot of grip work okay In hindsight though, like I mentioned earlier, it might have been a lot quicker had I used an actual cheesecloth to squeeze it out and had I used whole flax seeds instead of the ground flax seeds. Hmm, food for thought. Literally. Haha. <laughs> you're thinking and yes it does look a little gross but it's the purpose guys focus on the purpose it's a gel it's a very natural gel made directly from seeds like you can't find that anywhere else come on <coughs> excuse me anyway so now we're going to put this gel in our applicator bottle I always recommend to kind of save your um... oh, there goes another firework you want to save your um, oil bottles or even just any containers that you have that has product in it because you just never know when you're going to make a concoction that you need to store, right? So just save your bottles. Save them. So I'm just using a regular spoon to put the flaxseed gel into the container because the mouth is just so small, so I just figured a spoon would be the easiest thing to use. Both of these bottles that were once empty now contain my flaxseed gel. Yay! Now on to styling. <laughs> Lego. Wow, I really almost forgot to do my outro, but anyways, thanks again guys for watching, and always remember, natural hair grows, don't you forget it. Mm -hmm.